Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are now at week three for the Jeffrey Court Renovation Challenge. And for today, I thought I would do something a little bit differently and take you along in a shop with me. But for this time at Home Depot, this way I can show you all the different tiles that Jeffrey Court has to offer, as well as the pieces that I absolutely love and how I'm going to be piecing it together to create my vision for my bathroom renovation. I'll give you some options for those of you that are looking for different ideas because they have absolutely beautiful ones that are gold that didn't go with my look for this renovation but will absolutely look beautiful if that's something that you guys are looking for. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. As usual, I'll have the link down below so you guys can go ahead and vote for me for this week. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So I wanted to show you guys that gold tile that I was telling you about that I think would look so gorgeous. I was very tempted to go with this, but it just went with a total different design and look than I was going for. It has a white hexagon shape, as you can see on the tile, and then this beautiful brass detail. This vintage type of gold is very on trend right now. If you see the rest of my home, you'll see that I did accents of this on my downstairs bathroom and my new kitchen. So this would be a great option if you wanna go for something very trendy and on style that's gonna give a pop and be totally different. And then to show you guys what I actually selected for my flooring, this was one of the first tiles that I saw that I absolutely loved. It's a great classic, as you can see, it has the gray, it has the white. I do plan on grouting it with some light gray grout. It'll be easier to clean and it gives a nice contrast, popping with the gray that's in the center. Beautiful, simple, like I said, very classic. And then once I selected this piece, I'm here to see the different options that they have that would go really nicely with this. It's going to be like a very user, kid-friendly type of bathroom because I'm going to be having a tub in there. So I'm gonna show you guys around. I think I'm looking at something up there, if you guys can see at the very top, that type of chevron design, but I would be possibly grabbing it with something a bit lighter. This way it can be more of a subtle contrast. Here are all of the different wall tile options. So this is something that I'd be going for for the shower wall. I think I'm gonna go with subway tile. It's very classic and it's going to be this four by 12 size white. You can go with something if you want to do like a herringbone pattern, that's very popular with the exact same tile. Just so you guys can see, you can do something very simple or you can do something more on trend with the exact same tile, just depending how you're going to be laying it out. They also have this beautiful one here if you weren't a fan of like the larger gold. These are smaller. These will look really pretty in a shower floor. If you're
All right, so I'm just gonna be showing you guys what the tile looks like laid out. Unfortunately, the chevron design that I'm looking for, they are out of stock. So I'm gonna show you the two pieces, what the floor piece looks laid out so that you can see there. And then these are the subway tiles that I'm doing. They don't have a matte finish, so I really like that. They're gonna be easy to wipe clean. They are a four by 12 size, so they should be pretty easy for us to install since we're gonna do these individually. And then the sheets should be pretty quick because as you can see, it's, I believe this is like a 12 by 12 size sheet. So this look, they look like side by side. So we'll do like a one eighth gap between each subway tile have that all around the shower, this along the floor, and then just picture that we have that chevron design on it. As you guys can see, I'm going for a very neutral palette, so keeping everything clean and simple, but I'm playing with a lot of different patterns, so that's where the, it's going to be appealing and give contrast to the eye, but the color scheme is going to be very simple. I'm going with silver, white, and a pop of blush I am going to be adding, but that will be more for decor. As far as tile goes, we're keeping it clean and classic. Another tile that I absolutely love is actually this matte black. They have it in this pattern and then they also have it in that herringbone design. If you guys are looking to a modern glam farmhouse that would be pops of black. This is definitely the way to go. I absolutely love it. If that was what I was going for, I 100% would have went with that. Alright guys, this now completes my shop with me. I hope you all enjoyed coming tile shopping with me today. Saw all the things that I'm going to personally be using in my bathroom renovation. Spark some inspiration for those of you that are thinking of tackling and renovating of your own. As always, I will have the link down in the description to Jeffrey Cord for you to go ahead and vote for me, and I will see you all next week. Bye!